Okay, so people ask me all the time, what is the best trading strategy? Is it the Power X strategy? Or you might have heard me talking about binary power spreads. Recently, I've been selling put options. And then you also know that we have been issuing the power alert. So which of these strategies is the best strategy? And that's what we're going to talk about right now. So when we talk about the best trading strategy, you need to understand that each trading strategy is for specific market conditions. And uh, let me actually show you on a chart what I mean by this. So let's just take a look at the Dow Jones over, uh, let's say, the past year since 2019. Now, as you can see, you know that we have been in the longest bull market in history. The bull market has been going on for 11 years. So if you look at this and you see that you have a market that is just crawling up with small retracements, but overall we are going up making new all-time highs. Do you think that you trade this differently than something that we have going on right now in March and April of 2020, where we have this meltdown where the market went down by 30%? Absolutely. So one of the things that you need to understand when you look at trading strategies, there is no one size fits all. It's almost like if you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail to you. You have heard about this, right? So in your arsenal as a trader, you should have multiple trading strategies. And most importantly, you need to know when to apply what trading strategy. Now, you know that the strategy that I personally trade most of the time is the Power X strategy. So the Power X strategy is perfect for normal market conditions. And what does it mean when we talk about normal market conditions? Here's what I mean by this. I want to see a VIX, the volatility index, below 30. So let's talk about the VIX and what it means. The VIX is the volatility index, the fear factor that we have in the markets. And as you can see, normal levels for the VIX are between 10 and 20. We can go back over the past few years. Now, as you see, every now and then, the VIX is spiking like crazy. So here, the last time I did it, it was uh, in 2008, 2009. No surprise, this is when we had the last financial crisis. So during these times, you of course have different trading strategies that work than your standard bread and butter strategy. But you see, most of the time it stays below 10 and 20. Every now and then it has a spike up there. If you go back in time, I believe that here in 2000, as we had the, the market crashing, we were also spiking. But most of the time, as you can see, uh, it is pretty normal. I'm switching back here to the daily chart where the VIX is trading between 10 and 20. And right now we are still pretty high levels. So we are right now at above 40 here. So the Power X strategy, right now I'm not using that strategy. I wait until the VIX, the volatility index, is below 30 again. Now, another trading strategy that you might have heard from us are the so-called power alerts. The power alerts are a long only strategy. I designed this strategy so that you can trade it in retirement accounts. This is where we are issuing buy signals for certain stocks. So what do you see? We have been in a crash over the past few weeks and right now we are still diddling around a little bit and don't know where we are going. So. We did have a few power alerts coming up uh, when we actually moved up here, but I didn't send them out to you because I'm very, very skeptical right now about what is going to happen. So this is why uh, if you have uh, signed up for the power alerts that we have and you say, well, I haven't received anything since February. Look at this. This is when we had February. In February, the markets were still going up. That's when we issued the power alerts. Will we issue them in a market that is going down? No, of course not, because this is when you lose money if you would try to buy when the market is falling. Is this making sense? Is this helpful thus far? Now, we'll talk about binary power spreads and also selling puts in just a moment. But if this is helpful and uh, you understand a little bit better of when to use what strategy, do me a favor and give me a quick thumbs up so that I know you're with me and I'm not going too fast or too slow, that I'm going at the right pace. Also, I want to make sure that this video is helpful for you because my goal is 
to be here for you and show you the stuff that you can use in your trading right away. So number three, you know that we love trading binary options and we have a strategy that is called the binary power spreads. Now, this is a strategy that is perfect for small accounts and you can trade this pretty much all the time. And this is a strategy that we are trading in all market conditions. So it doesn't matter whether the VIX is high or the VIX is low, whether we are going up or we are going down. The binary power spreads is a strategy that we trade all the time. So again, this is what you can get started with at as little as a thousand dollars, a thousand, two thousand dollars. Ideal is to get started with around three thousand dollars, but that's a strategy that many of you are trading right now. Uh, that is actually really fun to trade. Now, finally, uh, a strategy that is working really, really well right now is selling put options. This is a strategy that works perfect as long as the VIX, the volatility index, is above 30. So this is why I believe it is super important that you have more than just one strategy. So I want to share with you right now what I'm doing. So as the VIX, as we are recording this on April 15th, the VIX is at 41. I actually like to trade this. Now, some of you know that we had a course about uh, how to sell puts and today we finished day two uh, of live trading. So one day I explained the strategy. We were trading live yesterday and we were trading live today. Would you like to see where we end up thus far after two days of live trading? All right, let me show you my account right here. So as you can see right now, we are up around $1,100. It just jumped up down a little bit, but you get the idea. $1,200 right now. This is for the past two days since yesterday and today. Now, again, I need to make sure that you understand my results are not typical at all. I've been doing it for a very, very long time. I know what you're doing. Your results might be completely different. And by sharing my account here, it is not that I say, oh my gosh, if you learn this strategy, you will make the same amount of money. No, not at all. Your risk tolerance is different. Your execution might be different. So for you, the results might look completely different. The reason why I'm showing you my account is that you see exactly what I personally do right now and the results that I achieve. And again, these results are not typical at all. So as you can see, it is important that you are not a one trick pony. You want to have multiple trading strategies in your stable. So I know that uh, that you might have just uh, purchased the PowerX Optimizer or you might have just purchased the PowerX strategy. And you know what? It is a great strategy to learn because in normal market conditions, which we have 95% of the time or 98% of the time, this is a perfect strategy that I like to trade. It is my bread and butter strategy. But every now and then you see that we have crazy market conditions as we have right now. And when this is the case, you just look into your own playbook and see which trading strategy should you trade right now. Think about it. If you had only one trading strategy, it's like because we talk about playbooks here, it's like playing a football game with only one play all the time. Can you win a football game if you only had one play for the whole game? Of course not. Now, I personally believe that you only need three to four different strategies. I don't think that you need to have more than four different strategies. And here's why. When you do, you might get confused. But if you have a strategy that works really well uh, when you have high volatility, which we have right now, that's why I love selling puts. Great. When you have a strategy, when you have normal volatility, this is when you want to buy options. Great. And then if you have another strategy that you can trade all the time, like the binary power spreads, that's perfect. Is this making sense? So when people ask me what is the best trading strategy, I say depends on what the market conditions are right now, because depending on the market condition, you have to grab into your toolbox and get the right tool out. You cannot fix everything with the hammer. It's impossible. Hope this makes sense. If it does, do me a favor and click like right now so that I know that this video was helpful. And also right now, there's a few videos popping up on the screen. If you enjoyed this video, watch one of the other ones, the one that you like best, and I'll see you in the next video.